and you're watching NDTV Profit. TV Profit. It's the fag end of the first quarter with most of the Q1 results already out. The consensus is that India has returned to the strong growth path. So with the operational efficiency on the rise, will corporate India loosen its purse strings and increase spending on travel, meetings and conventions and exhibitions? In short, what is known as MICE. Anisha Nayathavan finds out whether corporate India is planning more paid travel and conventions going ahead. The tide seems to have started to turn for corporate India. With better profitability in the first quarter this year, the focus will now be on top-line growth. Getting more business and clocking higher sales is likely to give a fillip to corporate and incentive travel. The trend definitely uh, now is looking up. Um, the first half of the year and the uh, last quarter of 2008 was uh, saw a downward slip in the numbers. Uh, but I think uh, come this summer, quarter three, quarter four, and uh, 2010 is looking upwards. Of the 10 million Indians going abroad in 2008, 10 to 15 percent were mice travellers, with the most popular mice destinations being Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia and Dubai. Sri Lanka says 25,000 of the 90,000 Indian visitors were mice travellers last year. No wonder then Sri Lanka tourism is laying down the red carpet for Indian mice travellers. It's safe now that the war is over. It's close by, exotic and cost-effective to boot. Sri Lankan Airlines has come up with a three-night, four-day ex-Delhi package including hotel and airfare for 15,000 rupees. Today we operate out of eight metros into Colombo. And, if you, if you, and most Indian corporates have their branch offices in all these corporates. So if they are to ever bring their group of salespeople from all their sales offices into one destination, Sri Lanka is the ideal position. To improve business development, spending on the incentive travel is unavoidable. Thanks to attractive discounts offered by new exotic destinations, corporate India will be able to kill two birds with the same stones. Offer incentives as well as keep costs under check. In New Delhi, Anisha Rayadhavan for NDTV Profit. And you're watching NDTV Profit.